In this video, we're going to calculate the perimeter of a triangle using Python. To calculate the perimeter of a triangle, we need the three side lengths of the triangle. We'll prompt the user to enter these side lengths and we'll store them into variables. So we'll have side underscore a is equal to float input side a colon. We'll also have side underscore b is equal to float input side b colon and then one more time we'll have side underscore c is equal to float input side c colon. So what we're doing here is using the input function to prompt the user with the text side a colon. That's going to tell the user to enter the side length. Once they enter in the string and hit enter, input is going to return that string. We need to use that string in a computation to compute the triangle perimeter. Float is going to take the string and convert it to a float value so that we can use it in that calculation. We do the same thing for side B and side C. Now we can calculate the perimeter. The perimeter is going to be the sum of the three side lengths. So we'll have perimeter is equal to side underscore A plus side underscore B plus side underscore C. Now we can output the perimeter. We'll have print perimeter colon and then perimeter. So what we're doing here is printing out the text perimeter colon followed by the computed perimeter value. We can save this and try our program out. So we'll have python d.py and then we'll enter in 10 for the side a length, 5 for the side b length, and 6 for the side c length. And we get a perimeter of 21, which is correct. We can run our program again, and this time for side A, I'll enter in 1.333333. For side B, I'll enter in 2.444444. And for side C, I'll enter in 3.777777. And the result we get back has a fair number of decimal places of accuracy. We might not actually need this many decimal places of accuracy. We could use the round function to round down the number of decimal places of accuracy in our result. We could pass the round function, the result of the perimeter calculation as the first argument. And as a second argument, we could pass the round function, the number of decimal places of accuracy that we want. So I'll have four because we're going to say that we want four decimal places of accuracy. We can save this and run our program again. And we'll put in the same three side lengths as before. So I'll have 2.444444 and 3.777777. And now our perimeter result is rounded to four decimal digits of accuracy. If our program had to calculate the perimeter of a triangle in multiple places in the source code, we very likely wouldn't want to just keep rewriting this expression again and again. If we did that, we could potentially make a mistake. Instead, we would likely create a function to calculate the perimeter of a triangle and call the function where it's needed. Let's actually make that function. So we'll copy this here and we'll have our function up here. We'll have def triangle underscore perimeter. And the function will have three parameters, a, b, and c for the side lengths, a, b, and c. And the function will return this expression, but we'll replace side c with C, side B with B, and side A with A to match the parameter names. We'll then call the function down here and we'll pass it side A, side B, and side C. So we'll have side underscore A, side underscore B, and side underscore C. So we'll save our program and we'll test it out. I'll enter in the same side lengths as before. So we'll have 1.333333, 2.444444 and 3.777777 and we get back the same result as before. So this is how we can calculate the perimeter of a triangle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.